I am so happy to share this story with you. Now, I can't say for sure if you saw my previous video on this. I suspect you may have. But some time ago, I, I covered a leftist who um, used his girlfriend, allegedly, as a human shield because her crazy ex-boyfriend put Apple AirTags in her luggage so that he could stalk her and show up at this guy's house. Terrible, nightmare scenario. Okay, nightmare scenario. Uh, I want to be very clear that you know everybody dunking on this leftist is is it's funny, but also I want to point out that the guy that you know stalked her and showed up at his house. That's the bad guy in this. Okay, that is the guy that broke the law. That is the guy that um, is the evil one in all of this. And um, and you know, I know, and then in no way, shape, or form am I blaming this leftist for the actions of this other lunatic. Now, if I was in a constitutional carry state like this leftist was, um, you know, I'd probably been able to protect myself. Uh, he chose not to. He chose uh, also to support defund slash reforming police. So unfortunately, when this lunatic uh, showed up at his house, he had to call and they only sent marriage counselors. They didn't send police. Just kidding. They did send police. Um, but he then went and stood outside on the balcony and vlogged it while his girl uh, had received a lead injection in her leg through the door from the psychopath. So the psychopath shows up at the house, fires around through the door, I, I assume trying to hit the soy-infused boy that stole his girlfriend in his mind, snaked his girl, um, as he hid behind her. He hid behind her, and then she ended up getting shot. And then he vlogged it. He recorded the video while the case, he vlogged it while it was going on. Okay. Again, the guy that put Apple air tags in her luggage and showed up at his house armed and, 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 and took a shot. He's the bad guy, but we're going to have some fun at the, at the expense of a guy who is now trying to profit from it and put out what appeared to be hilarious, false lies Stolen valor that I've still been able to maintain. Let's take a look because that's what we do. Now, there was a tweet where T Tim Pool put out a tweet this morning. I'm not this, I'm not dunking on Tim, but this is how it's we, it has now been uh, determined that it appears somebody lied about the situation. So initially, he put a tweet out saying, "My so Hunter puts out this video and then he links his GoFundMe because he wants you to pay him money because he stole some guy's girlfriend or whatever and now you're supposed to pay him money. If Hunter had stood in front of Holly, that's his girlfriend, don't know her, don't even want to bring her into the story, don't care. If he had stood in front of her when he arrived, the, in, the incident, he may have gone um, at Hunter um, you know, and gone through Hunter because he's like, you know, a tiny, tiny little soy boy and got them both. The girl trying to talk him down was the right move. This is something I strongly disagreed with. I replied to him and said, are you kidding me? No. Um, first of all, why are you standing in front of the door anyway? If somebody is pointing a weapon at your door, you do not stand in front of it. That's like step one. Okay. Step two would be ha to have the foresight to have yourself armed. Step three would be to escape, maybe off the balcony, out a back door, wherever the case, you know, um, si situation like that. Um, in the video in which he is, <laughs> in the video where he is trying to grift money off of this situation, in it's which he said, <laughs> this is what's so great about it. This is the terminally online culture. Okay, I'm glad he's okay. I'm glad his girlfriend's okay. I don't care for his opinions. 
but I, I don't want him to suffer from, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. He is a soy-infused ultimate beta. Um, the idea that, you know, he's been push, pushing this idea that, like, anybody who makes fun of him is, like, doing so from, like, a Dorito-encrusted bed who wouldn't actually defend their girlfriend. I can be very confident that none of my viewers would have their girlfriend standing in front of a door with a guy on the other side of it who has a shotgun. That is not about being a alpha male. That's about being not a moron. So I like that he put, um, so he says, this is not clickbait in the video. Even though the thumbnail he made is the most clickbait imaginable. Look at this thumbnail. It's it, he first of all he titles it okay so first of all he titles it someone tried to end me but he he used an asterisk in the word kill so that the video wouldn't get demonetized okay so i just want to point that out he's definitely not grifting if you, he's definitely not if grifting. you want to support the channel Guys, he's definitely not grifting almost killed almost killed guys Come on, bro. Come on, bro. First of all, you weren't almost killed. Your girlfriend was. You were hiding on the balcony filming with your iPhone. And then I like how he puts, this is not clickbait. Bro, you have the most clickbait thumbnail imaginable. And I'm not going to judge anyone for clickbait. Okay? I'm not going to judge anyone for doing clickbait. I'm aware. I'm also aware that people do what they need to do so that videos get monetized, but I do think it's pretty hilarious. So in this 20 minute video in which he, you know, lays out, he's got it all finely edited, you know, things like that. This is not clickbait. Here's a chain of events and my thoughts afterward. Give me money. And nobody's giving him money. Nobody gives him money. He picks this picture in front of sunflowers. He wants money. Why does he want money? Because it costs him money to move, guys. He wants to move. So he wants $5,000 from you so he can move. By the way, all that it ever has cost me to move in the days is a couple of six packs or 12 packs of beer. Okay. But it gets better. You order, here's what you do. If you actually have friends, you buy a bunch of pizzas. You buy some beer and drinks, cost you maybe a hundred bucks. You pick up the phone and you get five, 10 of your buddies. And they say, Holly is a hero. Holly is a hero. Um, again, sounds like she was in a terrible relationship. Um, you know, but the grift afterwards the and then turns out in this 20 minute video there is one whopper of a lie one whopper of a lie <laughs> he also claimed so this individual showed up at his house the individual showed up at his house uh fired one blast fired one blast through the door of bird shot okay basically non-lethal um, it barely works on birds. It can be very damaging, um, but you'd have to be like point blank. You know, birdshot isn't meant to go through doors. I don't mean to diminish. The guy still was armed and showed up at your house. That's got to be super, super scary. Okay. There are people who said he stole the girl. I don't know about all that. Um, still doesn't like absolve this lunatic from his crime. Um, pretty sure birdshot isn't going to end anybody. Um, unless that maybe, you know, super close range. If you like put it next to your head, it's probably, probably still do the job. Um, but yeah, this is a man. <laughs> TM. He said in the video that the individual who showed up at his house also took out two police officers. 
Sounds like a pretty big scene, right? Pretty big. So a guy shows up at your house, takes out two cops, fires one into your girlfriend, and then ultimately, like the true hero, he sounded like he was, he took his own life. By the way, I'm, you know, he could have saved a lot of trouble and done that anyway. Mental health is uh, a... Cr uh, Nobody wants to talk about mental health in particular of men in this in men in this country, but nonetheless. I'm not gonna blame the girl for leaving that guy. I'm not gonna blame Hunter for dating a girl. That's all lame. What I want to talk about is this hilarious whopper of a lie. Conrad, who is the individual, also ended two or who fired on two police officers non-fatally wounding both of them wow it sounds like a real spooky situation you survived except it turns out that tim pool called the police and found out that that was a lie i could not get confirmation yet as to whether a slug was even used but police did confirm to me that zero officers were injured <laughs> i mean why do you need to add that extra lie Hunter claimed otherwise in the video, stating that police were, were fired on and not failing. I mean, why would you even make that up? That's a whopper of a lie. A lie that is extraordinarily easy to determine if it's true or not. To which, you know, because he's terminally online, he immediately replied and was like, responding police told me that two officers were hit. If that information is not correct, I apologize, but I'm only repeating what the police told me. This is a developing story, so facts may change as we learn more. Then why'd you make the video already? By the way, this isn't a developing story. It happened a freaking week ago, bro. The detectives also informed us he was using a slug at the door. You could have looked down and saw all the micro holes in your girl's leg and known it's not a slug. I'm not going to show you the picture, but it is extremely obvious that it was not a slug. It was extremely obvious. There was like a hundred little, little red marks on her leg. A slug would have made one big one. Sure they did. Yeah, it's funny when you... Uh, I'm not faulting him. Facts don't change history, only the story. I mean... <laughs> I, I don't even understand that, like... Any idiot... I mean, look. I don't even understand. I'm not gonna, you know, clown the guy for being scared. If he had just admitted uh, that he was scared or whatever, I don't think that's... You can't make up... Some you know you don't want to do that, but he just lied about the slugs. He knew he's like, well, cops told me it was a slug. Dude, look at your girlfriend's leg. It obviously is birdshot. You could see that. Everybody could see that. A slug at point blank would have probably taken her entire leg. And then like the coping and like, I think that this is pretty hilarious. And then he quote tweets it. Responding police told me that. Well, that's awfully convenient. Why would they? Why would the responding police have told you what kind of ammo he was using? I don't actually believe that. I think that's a complete lie. I think that's a complete lie. I think pol I don't think police told him that. Can you imagine a scenario where a police officer would tell you the kind of ammunition the guy was using while as everything was developing? Don't never forget that this guy used to be a conservative alpha giga chad. Owning feminists. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's pretty clear. I don't believe that police told him that it was a slug. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that, um, you know, that he... I mean, the grifting on it is really amazing to me. Um... But the whole thing is is pretty hilarious. The fact that Tim Pool called him out for lying, and then his only response is, "Well, that's what somebody told me." Nah, I don't buy that. Good luck on your GoFundMe. Hopefully, people will give you enough money to move apartments.
Because that's, I, you know, I'm not going to mock a GoFundMe. That's fine. Your viewers want to give you money to move. Good for them. Good for, you know, that's okay. The whole thing is pretty embarrassing, I think, though. Glad he's not hurt. But the cope and seethe after Mr. Defund the Police or Restructure the Police and Guns Bad. Hmm. I don't know about all that. 